there at Cooper Hawk down at the Bezo Pond. He flew in and scared some birds. Then I pulled up to get a closer shot and he came right straight for the car in front and caught a mouse. And he just ate it and he turned around here, landed on the post, and then we flew up here. I had a real close view. So we just had a little mouse to eat. We'll kind of keep our eye on him a bit here. I've seen the juveniles hunting here before. When he came into the area, the birds, the small birds, really got excited. Then he lit in the tree and I pulled up ahead. And then they parked, they come right straight for the car, flew in front of the car down in the berry bushes and come up with a mouse. Then flew back up on the post and then flew over here. So then I got pulled up a little bit more, got set up get a shot of this guy and see what he's going to do here. He's after something in there, moving around. Up he goes in that spot. That was his first little snack, just a mouse. And now he's uh, hunting the other side by the trail. It's his back through the trees there. Oop, there he is. Well, that's our action with the Cooper Hawk this morning. Now, hopefully, we'll see the Black Merlin show up and see what else we can get here at the Bezo Pond, Kent, Washington. All right, watch him a little bit more. We're getting his back to the trees here. He's at that little mouse. Boy, they got good eyesight. That's a pretty good distance. He come right straight for the car, right in front and down. And a little bit later, out back up on the fence post and back up on the tree. We'll call that good then. We'll see if we can locate something else.